By now you all have seen the viral magnetic heart nail, but you haven't seen me do it, so let's get into it. Now would you believe that we only had one paper clip in our entire salon and I already used that for a tester, so I had to go to Target and grab some so I could show you how to do this. So you're just gonna use any paper clip that you can find, preferably one that doesn't have a vinyl coating on it. Unlike me, I had to take the vinyl coating off of mine, but you're just gonna start by bending it in half and making sure that both sides are even. And then I found it easier to crimp it before I started twisting it. I just felt like I could have a better grip on the paper clip that way, but I just bent it in half in a 90 degree angle and then took the two ends and started twisting them around each other. Girl, be careful with this part because I do have holes in my glove for a reason. I twisted my paper clip about three or four times and then I just trimmed off the ends just a little bit to have a smaller heart. And now you're ready to start. I have a hard time describing this part, so just try to follow along. I take a really strong magnet and go on all four sides of the nail to make all the magnetic particles lay facing upwards. And then with your prepped paperclip magnet, you wanna go ahead and hover that over the center of the nail until the heart starts to appear. The trick here is to keep the magnet that you're using slightly underneath the free edge to really get that defined heart shape. So I mentioned earlier that I trimmed my two little prongs, but if you don't trim it, you can get a bigger heart. I just wanna show you the size difference here. The left one has obviously longer prongs and the right has shorter ones, so you can control the size of your heart. I love this trick so much. I've been doing it nonstop. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.